Hi, Mr. Panzer. Hi. So, me and Scarlett, because there's only two of us, did pretty much the entire project by by ourselves. Just joking. Together. Yeah. Um, the only things that were done separately was the math, which we did in class, but they're all the same because it's the same house. Yeah. So, we're just going to do the videos together to make it not so and the like, same. Yeah, less repetitive. Yeah. Good word. Thank you. See you soon, Panzer. <laughs> Here's, um, this is the south-facing window with its awning. Obviously, this is glass, glass, but we didn't put anything there to, um, because we couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is our east-facing wall yeah. with, um, with our door and windows. Yeah. And, um, so then we keep going, and this is our north-facing wall with just, with just windows, two levels, obviously. We got a nice solar panel down here on the floor, and this is our west-facing wall with some glue on it. <laughs> um, and then this is our roof with solar panels and the awning on both sides of the south-facing wall, so our house can be cool in the summer. Yes. We used the sun chart to try and find the solar elevation of how much light was going to need to be blocked for the summer sun, which we wanted to block about 75% so the house would be cool enough. And we did this using um, our land plot and with the, I can't tell if you could see this, but with the... 50 foot tree we then used all the different um degrees of solar elevation to figure out how much that angle is supposed to be all right in order to calculate our total r value we looked up each layer of our walls r value to see what it was and we calculated it with how many inches or how many how much material we wanted and so, and then it equaled 25.12. Yep. To calculate the R value of our roof, we did not calculate the exterior material and we just used the plywood and one inch thick of it, which is 1.25. Then the insulation, which is R value was 3.5 and it was 12 inches thick. And then the thick gypsum, wall board which our value was 0.9 and it was only one inch thick which then calculated to 44.15 as the r value of our roof so the numbers for our final spreadsheet for summer with awnings would be the calculated um numbers would be our roof which we calculated by ourselves through the r values the walls which is the same thing with r values the area square feet had to be a thousand so that was given to us 
We then calculated this area in square feet of our walls and our windows as well. The R value of our windows was given to us in addition, which would be five. Um, the south facing windows in square feet is 200 and that was calculated by us and the, hor the horizontal BTU per day square feet was given to us, which is uh, 1,938.6 and the vert con factor <laughs> was also given to us as at 0.3. The average outside temp this month for summer was also given to us, which was 75. And the desired average temp inside was supposed to be 64, which was given to us. And which had our average inside temp solar only at 85 degrees, which He's is odd. <laughs> pretty good for the summer because we started with it being 115 degrees without awnings. Yes. So, made improvements. Here is the detailed trigonometry for how we figured out how much our awnings are supposed to be. With the land plot, we figured out with um, degrees, and then we used 10 of 5, 10 of 14, 10 of 20, 20 24, and 26 to figure out what X would be, which would be the awning length. So summer without awnings, our house was supposed to be 115.7 degrees, which obviously is unlivable. But what ended up happening is that with summer without awnings as well, our house was 72.2 degrees which is manageable, especially in the winter when you want to stay warm. Our south facing window, because the winter has no awnings, was 800. That's how much south facing window would be exposed. But when we add our awnings to our south facing window in the summer, we only have exposed 200 square feet of window on the south facing window, which makes our house in the summer 85 degrees, which is hot, but manageable when opening windows and if needed, trying to be as much sustain, using as much sustainability as we can, have to throw on a fan or something, and try and stay as far away from the high power air conditioners as we can in the summer. Wrong thing, my bad. With what negatively is going to affect our house is that, I'm just gonna flip the camera really quick, is that in the winter with such little sun, with, sorry, with such little window area, it's hard for the sun to come in and us get warm. So that's how the awnings have a negative, negative effect in the winter because they're very helpful in the summer to keep out the light and give us shadow. But in the winter, when we want the warmth of the sunlight, we uh, will struggle with getting it because going from 800 square feet of window to 200 square feet is a lot. 